guten Abend. Ich bin Konrad Anker. But, uh, heute Abend werde ich nicht in Deutsch reden. I'm Conrad Anker and I'm from Montana. So, let's rock this. Um, thank you, OKM and musicians, for setting the stage. Wonderful music. Thank you so much. Thank you, Claudia and Renzi, for bringing this wonderful and exceptional person into this world. Our empathy is with you and that our togetherness, that we can share and lessen the pain that you're going through. The two of you, born in mountain cultures, a continent apart, created a global community that David was your son, was exceptional. He embraced both, both cultures and brought both people, those of the Sherpa of Nepal and the Tiroler people here together. And by extension, he brought generations together. Peter, for recognizing talent and identifying it, nurturing it, and for Reine, taking this raw, unclarved block of talent and bringing it to David that were there. For all of this, we can be thankful in this world. David's presence in our life, we realize that we're not unlike each other, that we're more together and we're closer and we're connected. And for this, all of humanity and all of the world is a better place for having David been here. I knew David four years to the month in that we had met each other, we'd communicated about climbs and opportunities and things like that. So here it was, blind date, let's go climbing. And I met him in Las Vegas at the airport. We got a rental car and he's like, I've got to check out the strip. <laughs> it's where they gamble, it's illuminated, it's everything that's not what we of the mountain stand for, but we had to go see it and it was absolutely crazy. <laughs> and uh, just lights on, it was probably midnight. I wanted to just get into the canyons of Zion where we went climbing. But on this trip, we formed a bond. We climbed a route in remembrance of Leighton Core, one of the great American climbers of the previous generation. And in that, we had a dream, and he invited me to go to Lunagri. And this was uh, 2015, and David is, at the time, was half my age. Rinzi and I are the same age. I'm his uncle by Sherpa definition, and we set off, and we had um, looked at it, and initially it was one of these great moments, and we got up to the coal, and I was like, David, this is a really good bivy site, and we should just bivy here, it requires no work, and we'll go the next morning. He's like, no, we gotta go, we gotta go. So we kept going, and then it was, steep 70 degrees ice and we spent three hours getting our back sore chipping out to a miserable night and then we woke up early and we went up and we got below the last 300 meters of steep rock and realized that we didn't have the endurance to make it up and we made a decision to descend a year later the stream was still with us we were determined to do it and he had invited me along. I was honored, I was humbled that someone of his ability would take a guy that's over the hill and for whatever, I was like, maybe you're doing it just for, because you're nice, but we had a connection and that was very meaningful to us. In two, 2016, things didn't go as planned. We were late getting in, it was colder. For whatever reasons, we got up and after a certain start, I felt 
an unmistakable pain in my chest. I had no idea what it was, but I knew it was an altitude. I hadn't hurt myself and that things were changing. I had suffered a heart attack. Immediately, David said, we're going down. He radioed Mungo and Tenzing in base camp, helped me get down. And then as I sat in camp, being stoic, I'll be fine, I'll get done, I'll just bear it out. He's like, no, I'm calling the helicopter now. And that insistence saved my life and I'm forever deeply indebted to him. The true measure of a person is when your cards are not there and you're down and out and they reach out and they help you out. And I was in this situation with David and he was there for me. I'm ever, forever thankful for that. May we all keep a piece of the spirit of David close to our heart. May it be a reminder to extend a hand, to smile, to embrace kindness, to encourage everyone to give it their best and to try their hardest. And we think where we are in this moment of time in remembrance, the past is behind us, the future is unknown, but we live in the present and we appreciate the people we are with. Thank you. And thank you, Claudia, Renzi, Hadley, and the extended community.